again. So this video is like really serious. It's, well, it's not super serious, but still. Um, I have been having some health problems, nothing scary, you know, like, and I attributed all of my symptoms to being overweight. I mean, I'm obviously not a thin person. You know, I'm not stick thin. Um, I'm not morbidly obese, but I'm definitely on the heavy side. Uh, and there's lots of different reasons for that. One being I eat. <laughs> Some other things, you know, doesn't matter. I am overweight, and I have been working really hard on trying to bring that down. Um, like, I don't eat red meat, you know, I've been cutting out sugar, I've been working on cholesterol, I've been working out, I do both cardio, and I've been meeting with a trainer, so all you naysayers saying, you know, like, oh, cutting out sugar doesn't do it, you've got to do Atkins, I don't want to hear any of that stuff, I don't want, I don't want diet tips, that's not what this is about. So anyway, I've been having all these weird symptoms, and I thought it was just because I was changing my diet, I was working out, you know, things like that. Um, number one, I'm hot all the time. Like right now, I'm actually really hot in this fleece sweater thing, like, dying, but it's pretty, so I'm wearing it. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been hot all the time, trouble sleeping, you know, night sweats. If I drink any sort of caffeine, I break out in a sweat. Um, I've been kind of forgetful and fuzzy, like, eh, whatever. Just, I don't remember things. I can be a real idiot lately. And I thought it was just because of the schedule I've been having. It, it's, I don't have a schedule. <laughs> and I thought that was why I was, you know, being fuzzy. So, I've been working out with a trainer, and it's happened more than once, where one time I threw up, like, actually threw up at the gym, really embarrassing, um, and I attributed it to what I had had for breakfast. I didn't eat a real full meal, you know. So, and we moved it to later in the day. So, you know, still not feeling really good when I'm working out and stuff. And last Thursday, I'm working out with my trainer and I stand up and, you know, that instant nauseous, hot, sweating, flop, you know, your face is sweating, your back is, I mean, like, every pore in your body is sweating, really nauseous, thought I was going to throw up. It was one of those oh god, I'm sick kind of things, and I've never been pregnant, so I can't tell you what morning sickness feels like, but I can say all of my symptoms felt exactly like when I've given blood before, and I tend to um, fill the bag really fast, so um, I've gotten, you know, lightheaded, nauseous, sweating, that kind of thing, same kind of symptoms, and I knew it was happening, so I said, I feel faint, I gotta sit down, so I sat down on the ball, and then I started getting, you know, tunnel vision, like I was going to pass out, and I said, I got to lay on the floor, so I just threw myself on the floor, yes, in the middle of the gym, mm -hmm. and I'm laying there sweating, going, I'm going to throw up, so my trainer runs and gets me a garbage and, like, a wet cloth, I'm laying there, laying there, you know, I start feeling better, so I sit up, and we're talking, and I feel better, and I get up into a chair, and she's like, well, I'm just going to go, um, you know, tell my next person that we're going to be a little late, and, you know, I'm like, yeah, fine. Well, while she's gone, I start to feel like I'm going to pass out again. And she comes back and she's like, you've got googly eyes. You know, what my, my point is, is I couldn't seem to keep like vertical without passing out. And they actually had to call my mother. This is how embarrassing my day was. They had to call my mother to come pick me up from the gym because I was not suitable to drive home because I couldn't sit up without going just white in the face and feeling nauseous and stuff. I maybe should have gone to the doctor right then, but I really thought it was like, because I've been exercising and watching, you know, eating healthier, I thought maybe I was like anemic or my body was like just changing, you know, whatever. So then um, I started taking my pulse just regularly and I found out that my pulse was like in the hundreds just sitting, you know, like resting heart rate. And, I, you know, I've read different things. Your resting heart... Oh, there goes Puma. Oh, no. There goes Puma. <laughs> um, my resting heart rate was really high. So, um, obviously, so if I'm doing something more than resting, it's going to get really high, and that would probably make you kind of faint. So I made a doctor's appointment just to see, you know, like, am I anemic? Am I low on iron? Whatever. So he's like, yeah, those are kind of weird symptoms for someone your age. I'm in my 20s, my late 20s, so I'm no spring chicken, but I'm also, like, too young to be worrying about 
my heart. And so they did an EKG, and the first one, like, they kind of were acting weird, and I was like, well, okay, and he goes, well, and I've gotten dressed afterwards and stuff, this is at the office, and they come back and say, um, yeah, can we do another one, because we don't think that reading was right, we gotta do this again. So they did it again, and again, and again, they did it four times, and every time it came back the same, and he's like, if I didn't see you right now, I would believe this, because it says that you've had a heart attack. Yeah, not joking, people. Like, the EKG says that I have had a heart attack recently. I don't remember having a heart attack. Maybe some of you out there have had this in your family or something, but he's, like, looking at you right, you know, like, looking at this EKG and you, like, you should not be feeling this good. You should be in worse shape. I'm like, well, I mean, I don't feel great. I'm lightheaded and nauseous and hot and sweaty, but I'm not, like, dying. You know, I drove myself here. So, um, they immediately got me into a cardiologist. The lights are right in my face. There we go. They immediately got me into a cardiologist tomorrow morning. Like, out of town. Usually you have to wait two weeks. Like, I heard them conversing with another guy, and they're like, I would get this person in, like, now, considering their age. So, let's really hope that I haven't blown up my heart. <laughs> because this has been going on a long time, and I've just been poo-pooing the symptoms. You know, like, oh... I'm really tired, but, you know, I worked out in the yard, and, oh, I'm really hot, but I'm fat, so that's probably why I'm hot, and, you know, I'm really nauseous, but I think it's probably because I didn't, you know, I just had some cereal for breakfast. All these symptoms, you can poo-poo away, but if you're getting, like, lightheaded, bending over to get the laundry out, like, there might be something the matter, and that's why I'm telling you guys, because I have poo-pooed this, and it could be something really serious. It could just be my thyroid is overactive and is, like, making my heart pump, 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 but, um, I don't know what it is, that's why I have to see the cardiologist, so it's kind of scary to be my age and have someone say, uh, this is, you had a heart attack, that's really, really humbling, so, um, don't be like me and poo-poo stuff, you know, like, I've broken toes and walked around for weeks and been like, yeah, whatever, and I'm not saying this is me being tough, this is me being stubborn and going, oh, I don't need to go to the doctor, it's fine. I'm not dying. I'm fine. Well, like, if I had kept up with this heart rate and kept going to work out and stuff, I could kill myself. So, <laughs> um, yes, everybody be really safe. If anybody has any sort of experience with this, I'd love to hear it, and I'll talk to you soon. Much love.